Alright, this video is going to be about subtracting real numbers. First of all, let's go over the definition of subtraction. Subtraction is technically def defined as addition of the opposite of the subtrahend to the minuend. So you add the opposite of the subtrahend to the minuend. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So if I have this problem, this problem says negative 12 subtract negative 3. The negative 12 is what we call the minuend. The negative 3 is the subtrahend. What we see here is in the middle, this is our operation, subtraction. And we have these two numbers that we're dealing with. So in order to do subtraction, to redefine subtraction as an addition problem, which makes it much easier, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the first number. So I'm going to write down the first number, that is the minuend, and I'm going to add to that, so I'm going to write down addition, and then I'm going to focus my attention here on the subtrahend, the negative 3, and I'm going to add the opposite of that number. So I have a negative 3 currently, and the opposite would be a positive 3. And so that's what that would look like. Now a lot of people will look at this as a more in a more kinesthetic manner, and instead of writing it out as the definition, which is what you just saw me do, a lot of people will simply go, oh, I'm going to change this to addition, and then I'm going to make that the opposite sign, and they'll do that sort of a thing. I discourage you actually changing the original problem unless you do have some color, as I have introduced here. All right, now let's go actually do some examples. All we're going to do in each one of these examples is change the problem to an addition problem. So I'm going to start by copying down the menuend and adding to that the opposite of the subtrahend. My subtrahend is negative 4, its opposite is positive 4. Now all I wanted to do was change this to an addition problem, so there I go. Now if you had the more kinesthetic approach, you might have gone like this. Oh, I'm going to change that to an addition and I'm going to make that a plus. And now you'd still see this 27 plus the 4. Now let's do it again. So we're going to start with the menu end, negative 13, and to that I'm going to add, and now I have to identify the menu end, and then I'm going to add the opposite of that menu end, and the opposite of that menu end is a negative 9. And that is my change to an addition problem, and that's all I'm doing right now so that I'm not going to do anything else. All right, now let's do this the kinesthetic way. If I had this and I was a kinesthetic person, I may very well have gone negative 13, and then I'm going to change this to plus, and there's no sign there, so I'm going to make that a negative. And now you see exactly what I had um, when I did it using definition. One last time, copying down the first number, which is negative 9, adding to that, identifying the menu end, and I'm adding its opposite. So the opposite of a negative is a positive 13. And so now there is my new addition problem. Now let's do it the, uh, the more kinesthetic way. So negative 9, and I'm going to make this a plus, and then that one gets a plus as well because I need to change its sign. And now you see negative 9 plus a positive 13. All right, now let's work on actually doing the problems. Um, well, first of all, I'm going to give you the opportunity to do these on your own. So what you should do is you should attempt to change these to addition problems by shutting off your computer, doing them on your very own, and then coming back and checking each of them. Alright, hopefully you've had some time to do these on your own, check them, uh, and now you can check them. So if I did this via definition, I would write down my menu end, 2, and then to that I'm going to add, and then I'm going to identify my menu end, that's 9, and then its opposite is negative 9, which is what gets added to the menu end. So now I have 2 plus negative 9. If you were a more kinesthetic approach, you'd give this a plus, and there's no sign there, so you'd give that a negative sign, and it'd look just like that. Now moving on to the next one. This one, I'm going to write down that menu in, negative 3, and then I'm going to add to that, and I'm going to identify my menu end, 
and then I'm going to add its opposite. So the opposite of this is a positive 2. And so now there's my addition problem there. Let's again look at the uh, more kinesthetic approach. So I'm going to change the subtraction to addition and I'm going to give um, that to be a positive. So negative 3 plus positive 2. One last time. So I'm going to copy down my menu in, negative 18, add to that, identify the menu in, and it's opposite, negative 4. And so there is my new addition problem. Now let's take one, a look one more time at that kinesthetic method. So if I have a subtraction problem, I know I need to change it to an addition. There's no sign there, so I'm going to make that a negative. So negative 18 plus negative 4. All right, let's remind ourselves of the rules for addition of integers or addition of real numbers. First of all, if we have the same sign, we have two negative numbers or two positive numbers. We ignore the sign, we'll add numbers up, and then we'll keep the common sign. So for instance, if I had negative 2 plus negative 1, that would be 2 plus 1, ignoring the signs of them, and then they're both negative, so it's going to be a negative number. So I'm going to have 2 plus 1, which is 3, and they're both negative, so that's a negative 3. Now when they're opposite signs, what I want to do is I want to note the larger number while ignoring the signs. Then I'm going to subtract it, the big number minus the small number, and then I'm going to attach the sign of the larger. So if I had a negative 5 plus a 2, this one is larger, right? Ignore the signs. 5 and 2 is what I have. So ignoring the signs, I have 5, and then I'm subtract the smaller number, 2. And then I'm going to go back and I'm going to note the sign of the larger, and that's what the answer is going to be, is a negative. So 5 minus 2, that's a 3, and the larger was a negative, so the answer is a negative 3. And that was our addition rules. So now we're going to put these two things together to evaluate the following expressions. So what we're going to do is change to addition and then use our addition rules. So we have negative 9, or excuse me, negative 3, plus a negative 9. And then using our rules, these are both the same sign, so I'm going to add those two numbers up and I'm going to keep the sign that they have in common. So I have 3 plus 9, which is 12, and I'm going to keep that common sign. All right, moving on to our next one. We have changing to addition first, negative 9 plus, and then the opposite of negative 15 is a positive 15. So there's my addition problem. I have one positive number and one negative number, so that means I'm going to be subtracting these numbers. So I'm going to note the bigger one, 15, and from that I'm going to subtract the smaller one, 9, and then I'm going to note that the bigger one is a positive number, so my answer is going to be positive when it's all said and done. So 15 minus 9, which is 6, and it's a positive 6, so I don't have to write any sign. All right, moving back to our, uh, down to our last one here, we have 10 and then plus, the opposite of a negative is a positive, so this is 10 plus 8, nothing fancy is required there, I'm pretty sure you know how to add two positive numbers. And there we go. And now it's your turn again, so why don't you go ahead, shut this video off, Give a try to these three. You're going to change to addition first, then you're going to do the addition problem, and then give your final answer. All right, so hopefully you've had a chance to try these on your own, so let's go over these. We have a negative 19 and then plus a negative 18. So what I notice is that both of these are the same sign. So I'm going to ignore the signs for a moment. I'm just going to add those two numbers up, 18 and 19. And then when it's all said and done, I know that they're going to have, the answer is going to be that sign that they share negative. So 19 and 18, 8 and 9 is 17. So 7 and then they carry the 1, 1 plus 1 plus 1, which is 3. And this is a negative 37. Okay, doing this again copying the first number, adding the opposite of the second number, 
and then I note this inter integer addition problem. I have one negative number and one positive number. So I'm going to take the bigger number, 81 is bigger when I ignore the signs, and I'm going to subtract the smaller number, which is 9, when I ignore the signs. And then I'm going to be attaching the sign of the larger number. 81 is larger and it's negative, so it's going to be a negative number when I'm done. And 81 minus 9, you can borrow or you can think of this as, well, I know 9 times 9 is 81, so 9 times 8 would be what I'm looking at for this subtraction problem. You can do it either way. So if you borrow, you have to borrow from there and give to here. 11 minus 9 is 2, and 7 minus 0 is 7. And this is a negative number. And so there's our final answer. One last time. We're going to change to addition first, 18, and then plus, and then the opposite of a positive is a negative, so we have 18 plus a negative 28. Looking at that as an integer addition problem, we have a opposite sign, so the larger number is 28, and I'm going to subtract from that the smaller number, which is 18, when I ignore the signs. And then I'm going to look and see the negative, uh, the 28 was negative, so it's going to be a negative when I'm done. And that's going to give me a negative in 28 minus 18, which is going to be 10. So my answer will be negative 10. And that's it for this video.